I'm back with one of my favorite materials, resin, and we are going to be making one of my favorite projects, some coasters. So these are some agate coaster molds. You can find these on Amazon if you search agate coaster mold. I also got these dried flowers on Amazon as well, but you can totally dry your own based off of some of the methods that I shared with you guys earlier. But the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and mix half and half of our resin together. So you're going to want to use equal parts of resin and equal parts of hardener. I just find it a lot easier to measure them in two separate cups. That way you know that you have equal parts because if you don't, it's not going to cure properly. So once you do have them mixed up, go ahead and stir it for a couple of minutes and add your glitter. Now the glitter goes such a long way, you guys. I thought what I added was a small amount, but it ended up being quite a bit. So I stirred it throughout my resin and then I poured a thin base layer into the mold itself. That way I can just go ahead and start placing in my flowers and give them something to grip to. So I placed them right on top, positioned them into the position I wanted them to go into. And then I filled and topped it off with the rest of the resin material. You're going to want to let this dry overnight for about 24 hours or so. And once they are fully hardened and cured, you can just pop them right out of the mold and you have these really, really cute coasters. However, I wanted to elevate mine and take them just one step further. So I'm using some of this brass gilding paint. Just go and carefully paint around the edge of these coasters to give them kind of like a metallic finish on the edge. I just think it kind of locks in the design and that finishes them off. Thank you. 